Right, I mean, GMC um, Whippersnipper has been giving me a hard time in the last probably 12 months now, or probably longer than that. It's been giving me the shits. The bloody thing had started up, and it seemed to run fine while it was cool, and it started to get warm, and it would just conk out and run out of power. Anyhow, I had a chat to my neighbour. He's a bit more clued up on engines than what I am, and we went hunting. And we found an issue with the spark plug. The spark plug, spark plug gap was way too small, so we've adjusted the thing up. The width is now about the width of a a, um, a hacksaw blade, so we fixed that up. The other thing I found was that up in here. See this fuel line up in here? I've, this is actually the new fuel line. The fuel line I've actually got sitting here now is from a um, uh, the fuel line that you use for a nitro radio control car. Well, this is actually used to be the old fuel line. I've actually already chucked it in the bin. I should have kept it bin here. That fuel line had gone like a, um, a syrup colour, like like a honey type colour. And when I undid the lid on the, the fuel, I started looking inside. Something was rattling down the bottom. And I pushed this. There's a button. I don't know if I can see it there. You can see it there. Wish you push this button, you can see the fuel and stuff moving around. Well, what happened was the pushed that button there, and all the fuel drained out, and there's no fuel going anywhere. I'd undid the lid on the petrol reservoir, I emptied it into a container, and what happened to happen to flow out with it? Well, the fuel hose, the fuel hose is actually snapped in about four pieces. So um, yeah, I pulled it all apart, replaced all of that. Um, on the other side too, there's a um, small exhaust small exhaust down inside here um, pulled this all apart down inside here pull the cover off pull the exhaust out cleaned up all the exhaust this is pretty gummed up with all sorts of crap coat and scrapped it all out cleaning all up and now we can actually start the thing first go first pull of the cord which is a sensation sensational record for this GMC Whipper snipper. I've actually owned this thing now for about five years, and never in its life has it ever worked that good, ever. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you should get at least another five more years out of it. I hope this helps someone. Cheers.